Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to Final Cut. And I'm taking a look at a movie today that I don't remember seeing a huge amount of promos for. It's called Savages. Brought to us by, yes, Mr. Oliver Stone, the president filmmaking director himself. Now this time around, he's directing the story of Ben and Chon, who make the best hash on the market in California. They've made a nice little network, and most of their business is very peaceful. Okay, and these two gentlemen also have a love interest. Oh, and oh loves both of them, and they all live happily together in a yellow submarine. Well, actually, it's a big, huge mansion on Laguna Beach, but in any case, they've got a very happy relationship among the three and a very happy business. Well, things don't go so happy when the Mexican drug cartel, led by Selma Hayek's Elena, decides to move in on their territory. When they say no, O gets captured, and we see the movie where Ben and Chon try to get O back from the evil cartel. Folks, this is an unusual film in a number of ways, okay? Uh, it's, it's like a big, wide-release little independent film. I, that's what I loved about it, okay? Had a true independent film feel. Why? Well, first look at the dynamic of your characters. Nobody in here is really the good guy. Not even John Travolta's FBI agent, who uh, his agent is the guy that's helped Ben and Chon get their business going, okay? Even his character is not good, okay? Uh, now, you got Chon, who's played by Taylor Kitsch very well. Tron is the Iraqi veteran who takes care of the dirty work, what little there is, of their marijuana business, whereas you got Ben, played by Aaron Johnson, yes, Mr. Kickass himself, who is taking his money, and he's kind of the yang. So you've got Chon as the yin, and you get Ben as the yang, and then you got Blake Lively in the middle, who's, you know, playing with both yin-yangs. Uh, and I loved her performance as well. She she was great in the supporting role, uh, well, main actress role, excuse me. And it was great to see that her scenes with Selma Hayek, uh, you've seen it in trailer, yeah, they, they really have some great dialogue there. I love the emotions that come across from that scene as well. Uh, Oliver Stone has a great directing style. He knows how to handle ultra-violent content, and there is ultra-violence in this, as it's a nice, gritty, kind of noir, yet drug uh, buddy film with elements of maybe a little bit of a spaghetti western even in there. It, it's got all these little bits in there, which is what I really enjoyed the most of it. And it's a little bit controversial as far as the fact nobody in here is really any good. And you got three heroes, if you will, who have an interesting relationship which might turn some people off to their characters. I had to give Savages four stubs. It's nice to see a film, a more mature film in a sea of PG-13, a wide release film like this, and something that is different as far as the storyline and the characters go. It was a little bit predictable, but not always. Still had to watch the screen to tell what was going on, and I was on the edge of my seat occasionally just wondering just how they were going to pull things off, okay? So definitely check out Savages if you're looking for something different at the box office. Don't want to go see Channing Tatum strip or you don't want to go see the guy in the unitard. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.